everyone this is orchid today i'm working on a closet door for my bedroom this is it it's really a custom piece and i'm, I'm not in the mood to buy a custom closet door right now so i've decided to make a design on the front just to freshen it up a bit make sure you put away your hardware so you can find them when you're done i'm going to be giving it a fresh coat of white uh, semi-gloss paint make sure you stir it So I'm using upholstery nails and what I did, I used my ruler to uh, decide on the width from the edge to where the nails are going to be. Then I measured um, one inch intervals and this is me now placing the nails in. And I do this around the perimeter of the door. I left an eight inch area where the um, handle should be. And I'm using a vase to make two overlapping circles then I do the one inch spacing on that as well and then I just put them in it's during this process that I realized that one door was an inch um, larger than the other wider than the other so here she is guys this is the finished product had to do some adjustment because of the um, one inch larger door but I think I think it turned out well. I used 16 packs of the 25 pack uh, upholstery nails. They are $1.30. And just to give you a look at my bedroom, guys, it's um, I would say average. I love to keep my walls very dark. I suffer from insomnia. I do need a very dark room to sleep in. I tend to go for a more masculine look for a bedroom. The covers for the pillows, all but the ones in the back, the white ones, I made all of them. Now with regards to putting uh, rugs in your bedroom, I hate when you have a rug running under the bed because you have the trouble of having to vacuum under the bed. So what I do is buy two 5x8 rugs and I put them on either side of the bed and that gives you that the impression that it's one continuous rug. Uh, the picture above the bed is actually the first gift my husband ever gave me. It's a picture of the Brooklyn Bridge. We were in Times Square and he bought it for five bucks, but I cherish that. Yes, this is the other side of the bed. Uh, just showing you the foot of the bed. It's um, it's a sleigh bed. Um, now this is my side. I do read a lot. The lamps are from Home Goods. And this is a chest actually it fit perfectly in the space and that is from Bombay you guys might remember Bombay from way back when the flowers are from my garden I'm very proud to say I am a um, hard-working gardener not really good but I I'm, I'm getting there the picture above is from home goods my the fabrics i have on my pillows those i bought from my favorite place fabric guru this is the other side of the room i have a little sit-in area there is a recess wall there i did consider putting another closet there but i just didn't like the idea so i just left it as it is these are the chairs that you saw me reupholster they were actually originally from my bedroom but i moved them to the living room and now they are back in where, where they were and you might recognize the pillows these are the ones I made from the area rug I plan on uh, reupholstering the ottoman just giving you a close-up of the table I have it's um it's from Raymore and Flanagan and the mirror is a Craigslist find I actually used it to display my seating chart for my wedding light fixer is also another Craigslist find just to give you a final walkthrough the bedding is from overstock thank you so much for watching guys bye now